I need a hobby that's cheap, easy, and delicious. Boy, have I got just the right thing for you. Mushroom foraging. Now what in the heck is that? That's where you go out and find and identify your own mushrooms. And if you're lucky, use them for food. But we're mushrooms. Shh. Anyways, I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about foraging for mushrooms in the great state of Ohio. Let's get started. You just need a basket, right? It's true. You will need one of those. And be sure it's made of a breathable material like wicker, not plastic. The best thing you can use is a mesh bag because that disperses the spores back into the place where you removed the mushroom. But that's not the only thing you'll need. No, it's fine. I already found some. It's chow time. No! This is exactly why you're going to need the next thing, a field guide, so you can identify what exactly you're picking up. Oh. You're also going to need a pocket knife for harvesting the mushrooms. Other things that are worthwhile to bring are a magnifying glass for identification, bags and labels for keeping specimens separate, anything else you could need for an outdoor hike, like insect spray, a map, and compass. If you have service, a cell phone can be a great multi-tool. Great. Now it must be time to head out. Not quite yet. First, we need to go over common toxic mushrooms. Hey, aren't you poisonous? I sure am. I'm a fly ammonita. The effects of eating me can be unpredictable. You need to eat a lot to be killed, though. What other mushrooms are toxic? The most dangerous kind of mushroom you'll typically find is the death cap. This one is tricky because it doesn't look like much, and it tastes pretty good, too. After you eat it, your stomach will hurt for a while, but that will go away. Not too long after that, though, it causes total liver failure. Yikes! The feature that really gives this one away is the presence of an annulus and a vulva. If the mushroom has both, steer clear. Another mushroom to be wary of is the false morel. It's called this due to its resemblance to a desirable edible mushroom. The feature that gives away this imitator is its lack of the morel's characteristic conical shape. Here's a quick tip. Avoid drinking alcohol while you're consuming mushrooms because that can activate toxic reactions that wouldn't occur otherwise. Which one should I look for then? Great question, because it's time to talk about common edible mushrooms. I'm one of those. You sure are. In fact, you're a white button mushroom, one of the most commonly cultivated mushrooms in the world. If you think you may have found one in the wild though, you need to be absolutely certain that it's not an imitator. We mentioned morels before, these mushrooms are highly prized for their unique flavor and texture. You can also find chanterelles, a yellow-orange frilly mushroom that loves to grow on the base of hemlock trees. The giant puffball is a common edible mushroom that's hard to mistake. So long as it's purely white all the way through, it's safe. Shaggy mane mushrooms are another edible option, which are identifiable by their hair-like scales and that it becomes inky looking when wounded. And always remember, when, when in doubt, doubt throw, throw it out. Can we finally go look for them? Almost. First, let's look at some special considerations. Huh? Many mushrooms are essential to the growth and survival of trees. Removing mushrooms from their natural environment can be detrimental to the ecosystem. So do your best not to disturb the area in which you're foraging. Leave as little of a trace as you can and don't leave any items behind. Also, leave behind any mushrooms that you don't intend to use. Are there any laws about searching for mushrooms? In Ohio, mushroom foraging is legal in every state forest. However, state parks may have varying rules, so be sure to check beforehand. Don't go off trails if the park forbids it, and sometimes foraging can be forbidden in posted zones. Great, I might just open up my own mushroom stand. Hold on there. Wild mushrooms are only legal for personal use. You can't sell them. Aww. Don't worry. That just means more for you. Now come on. We've got some mushrooms to find. Finally.